I'm going to recite a little bit of poetry. The first one is titled, Tomorrow Doesn't Show. Don't talk back, dress your part. Look pretty, not ready. Drink milk. Lose the specs and all the extra weight. For who man is a big girl? All we want are big apples. Read, learn, grow, educate. Leave a mark on the world, but God forbid you leave a stain on the fucking furniture. Because after we read about menstruation in class 8, all we call it is anything but a biological process. Five days of school every month and this is how I get up. Hey listen, I'm gonna walk to the teacher's desk, okay? Just check my skirt, no? The mood swings are just hunger pangs accompanied by a bleeding vagina. We protest against the mafia. Stand united for the poor. So our stories aren't heard, they're by the media to be sure. Lesbians can't hold hands, gay men undergo ruthless scans, but groping women and taking out your genitals in public are all a part of sorted plans. Once you turn 50, you may make inappropriate comments about women, but if your son does the same, he's a product of the internet generation. Proud in the parliament and prostitutes in holiday homes. But if a young couple decides to have sex, leaked MMSs and shaming follows. If I say sex, they say no. If I say no, they hear yes. They slap and rip and tear. when they hear what I want and what I need for I am a woman, you see. Love and lust and combustible libidos of men and women and people who call themselves neither or both. Being readjusted to fit the norms, sorry the word makes me puke. For very soon all of us will be dead. The minds who don't know what they want, lying in pits with their rotten souls fed. They shouldn't keep you from grabbing what you want, so. Love the soul you want to touch. Touch the skin you want to kiss. Kiss the person you want to love and complete your goddamn cycle. For when the heart wants to break free, when in your being lies the passion, and your desire cannot be withheld, you're finally holding something unique. Keep it. Hold it and never let go, for today is yours, even if tomorrow doesn't fall you. I'm quickly going to go through one more piece. Uh, this is a little personal, but very close to my heart. It's titled, One of Those. Are you also one of those? Have you ever felt insecure? Felt like you're never going to be big enough? Like this world is just too damn big and your brain really small. Have you had questions in your head that you felt too foolish to ask? And have you cried yourself to sleep on days when all you really wanted to do was give up? You have, I have, and in all probability so has every person we ever speak with. We're so busy trying to be heard that we forget to listen, so I say it today for everybody who feels this way. When I was little, I had never felt beautiful. Every day I left for school in the mirror, I saw this girl too fat for the clothes at the mall, too ugly to make her grandmother swell with pride, and too hairy to be wanted by boys. I saw the reflection of the girl with the unplugged eyebrows. I still don't pluck them. And I despised her face. I saw all the tanning because of basketball, and the bruises on her legs because she was clumsy. It's not that I didn't know what beautiful meant. I saw it. I saw it in the magazines and on TV. Glossy hairless limbs, smooth contoured faces, perfectly proportional features and flat bellies. I wanted to get there. I just didn't know how. I waited for puberty and then the late teens. How sad it is that I'm in my 20s and I still feel the same way. But here's what I did not know when I was little. I am the flower that blooms on a storm. I am the ocean starting from the drops at the edges of my hair. I am the storm, not the eye, not what's left, but the storm in all its scary glory. I am the words engraved in the pages of every book that I have ever read, cried, laughed, loved and struggled with. 
I am everything and I'm nothing. Thank you.